So in this video, I'm just going to talk to you guys about um, the sources that I'm using for this site. Now you'll note that if you got here through the History Nuts and Bolts site that I have a bibliography posted, if you came through YouTube, you can go to my site History Nuts and Bolts and I will try and get a link for that down below so that um, you can find the bibliography of the sources that I'm using when I'm talking about history. And so when I'm talking about history and I'm talking about how historians work within their field, work within their discipline, a lot of people are going to ask, well, where are you getting all this information from? Are you just making this up? Are you pulling it off the internet? And the answer to that question is no. So I'm just going to go over just in this video, just real quick, the sources that I'm using and a little bit about how I'm using them. And then we can go into depth in maybe another video and talk about identifying good sources and how historians apply those sources. So the first book up is a book by John H. Arnold, History, A Very Short Introduction. Um, you can find these very short introductions. There are dozens and dozens of these things on a wide range of subjects from um, talking about um, you know Spanish literature and German philosophy and journalism and um, Islamic history. They run the gamut. Some of them are better than others. But typically what they'll do is they're written by scholars and they give you just a brief kind of introduction, a primer into a particular subject. So I highly recommend this. It's a very short book. It's a very quick read to give you kind of an introduction into what it is historians do beyond just talking about names and dates and, and important people, um, you know, what we kind of jokingly call, you know, great man history, which is what a lot of people in the past did with history and what a lot of people still think history is, that we just look at great men. And unfortunately, because of the way things were, yes, sorry, ladies, past historians pretty much just wrote about men. But the um, other, the next one is history a Brief Insight by John Arnold, very similar to the brief introduction. Um, it's a little bit bigger, goes into a little bit more detail, but also a really good primer into what it is historians do, how we do it, how we go about um, doing what we do. The next one is an older book, um, but also gives a very, very quick read, also gives some good insight into how historians address history, how we make our claims about history and in our and our argumentation about history. And that's probably another good subject for another video. Um, so this one here is The Historian's Craft by Mark Bloch. Um, again, some good things about how we do history. Um, the next one the Information Literate Historian, a guide to research for history students, kind of really helps you understand how history students do research. Research is kind of the bread and butter of what historians do, looking at the past, going back, and looking at primary documents, and uh, I'll talk more in the video on sources about primary and secondary and other types of documents. But essentially, when we're looking at primary documents, we are looking at things um, from the past to, to make it very, very simplistic, just for the, the purposes of this video. So we may be looking at the Constitution of the United States, or we may be looking at a poem written by someone um, hundreds or thousands of years ago, we may be looking at um, some sort of visual representation, architecture or art or other sources that can be primary documents. Um, you know, of course, in the 20th century, we got film, um, radio addresses, things like these can be used to help us understand the past. So this just gives you an insight and a little ideal about how 
historians use those and it and it's a great primer for students of history to understand how to properly apply, uh, apply those sources and then this book here the houses of history a critical reader in history and theory this talks about all the different types of historians there are so you just hear people say oh i'm a historian um I'm a history professor or, um, but you don't often hear, at least outside of academia, people talk about what type of historian there are. You might hear, uh, of course, one of the most popular ones here, people say military historian, but there are several other types of historians. There are cultural historians, there are economic historians, there are religious historians, there are histories, historians that that run a wide range, you know, film historians and 